Crayu and here. Uh, today we're playing crawl to, Crawling to Forget the Nothingness. And what really intrigued me about this game, not only is because it's a recent indie horror game, but in the description, uh, it's like talking about how you're just an in you wake up one day as an insect and then like you crawl around, you use your energy, uh, you go to sleep, and then when you wake up, something changes. So it really reminded me of one of my favorite uh, indie games, like or flash games of all time. Uh, Every day the same dream, which I do have a playthrough, and I'll leave a link to that playthrough in the description. Uh, or I may just pop it up on uh, this video, who knows. Uh, and I'll obviously leave a link for this game in the description as well. Um, but it just reminded me of that, because in that uh, game, uh, something... Uh, Something little changes like every single day, and the game is to figure that out. So, before we get started, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Hey, since you're a subscriber now, hit the bell uh, button so that uh, for the next video that drops, you get a notification when it drops, and you can watch it right away. So, let's start a new game. Controls, arrow keys, movement, space, enter is confirm, interact. I like the space then. Uh, shift, acid, spit, attack. Depletes health with each shot used only in emergency. So we're not really um, in this to uh, attack things. We're just more observe, which seems pretty right for a insect. So we wake up and we're a bug now. It's still too early and don't feel tired yet. Save game, sure. So we get 15 files. That seems a little excessive, but hey, why not? And I like that there's a health meter up in the upper left, and that looks like a daytime meter in the upper right. Though whatever that means, I'm not sure. Is it the big yellow dot that's changing? Or what? Yes, okay, so what, for every hour or whatever, uh, that dot moves over to the right one. Okay, so from what I thought I was pressing shift, because I decided to press enter. Why did I do that? Oh, we're going to go back and see if this... Okay, no. We don't interact. Scuttle, scuttle. This is interesting, because it's like mm, nothing lets us interact with it. All right, may every day something new opens up. Um, I like this though; it's interesting. This, these first couple days are probably just to get us familiar with the layout. Oh, there's a human. No, we don't talk to them. See, this is a screenshot it showed. Okay, I think it might, we might not even make it back in time at this rate, so. Let's work out that. But it gives us a good idea of how f close we need to be to our room. Dun, 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 dun. See, it, this, is, this music, it's not similar in sound to... Uh, the every day the same dream music, but it's similar in a different way. It's very repetitive, but has like comp uh, another night has passed. Okay, so we don't have to make it back to our room. Is what we learned. Oh, there's a door up here. Is this to our bathroom or something? It is. It looks like we are either either drink a lot or just really messy. And that's interesting because the in this case the music changes. So, well, I was about to say stands corrected because I was going to say it's like very repetitive and kind of adds to this dreary mo monotony. Oh, oops! I did. I did not mean to use my acid attack there. I just got excited because like in Conclus to run you press shift. And I know there wasn't a run option, but I very badly wanted there to be a run option, so I tried to run. This is my fault. I take credit for it. Huh. This is... I like this uh, music here. It's just soft and flowing. Oh. It does sound similar to the last one, because there's that, uh, da, 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 da. 
What are these? These look like egg sacks or nests or something. We can't climb up walls. That's a little disappointing. We're an insect that can't climb walls. I wonder if this becomes uh, free. Mm, this game is so... I bet that door wasn't open the other day. Something tells me it might not have been. So, we can't go very far, it seems, in a day. Or maybe we can. I just don't know how to maneuver. I do wonder if we get so, only so many days to do stuff in. Oh, look at that. Our health. Oh, I was about to say our health did not regenerate over the night. And it's like, it did. Um... That didn't have anything to do with it. Oh, it doesn't, though. It doesn't. Look at that. That's why it's only an emergency, because, like... Once it's gone, it's gone, it looks like. Credit. I didn't even mean to press shift. Okay, well, hopefully we won't... I'll just... I'll just keep my hand away from the shift key, and we're just going to... Stay on... The shift one. Oh, look! There's green specks on the wall. And there's another... Did someone else turn in? Oh, oh, it's attacking me. I mean, no, I do not want to turn on sticky keys. I was just asked if I wanted to turn on sticky keys. Oh, this is not good. Now, like, within, by day three, I am at, whoa. I am at, like, under half health. Okay. Is everybody turning into bugs and we're killing each other? Or are we killing each other because we're turning into bugs? Or are we turning into bugs because we're killing each other? There we go. I guess that would be the flip reverse. So, looks like we are in a not awesome place. I wonder if that's us. Mm hmm. We just. Okay, that was not there. It's following us. Why would it follow us? So, that door opened up this time. We're not gonna go outside for a bit. Uh, uh, it's gonna see us. Wow. Way... Way to... Waste health, Kaylin. I have a feeling we're gonna die on this place, this first attempt. That's alright. Oh, that, that's, oh, the bees are invading. That's what this is about. Ah. The bees are, eva are invading. Oh, this is not good. Another night has passed. Well, we're going to save. Yeah. And file two. Because we have almost no health left. And why not? So there's bees. They're invading. Did we turn into a spider because we're an inversion of Spider-Man? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Thanes are open. Oh, that was not cool. So people are dying. Because the bees are invading. Oh, this is a relatively neat bathroom. I'm not sure what we're supposed to find out or interact with. I'm just gonna let it kill me. This oh, I got squished. It is over. What is over? Crawling to forget the nothingness. Uh, yeah, let's start a new game. Uh, shift... Yeah. Okay. So, it's literally... It's still too early and don't feel tired yet. So we could... Oh, I wonder if we could regenerate uh, our health if we made it back in time to sleep. Let's try that. Dun, 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 dun. No. Okay. Well, at least that's hopefully the only health I waste. So there's nothing out here. So let's go ahead and head downstairs to see how far we can make it outside before we get tired because it seems like we're just discovering how 
the bees conquer this apartment building. Who are the bees? Why are the bees? I said we we're going to hang out head outside, but actually I just got curious as if there was anything else to go back up there because I forgot if we had already explored here. Who are bees? Why are bees? Hmm. Will we ever learn how to spin a web to protect humanity from the bees? I don't think these humans know what's about they're about to face. And it looks like this is more procedurally generated than anything. And there's no point in being out here. Maybe if we like oh, oh. There is another place. If this is our place. This is our place, isn't it? So we walked in a circle. I am willing to bet that we walked in a circle. What happens if we do? Oh, instant kill. Okay. It is over. Alright. I was just wondering. Stop judging me. New game. Why not? Enter. So, we're literally just exploring this. Alright, I accept this. I accept this as our duty to watch the bees ultimately take over the world. So the bees, when other people are insects, they don't hurt you as much. But why did we wake up like this and the humans are dying? Are we human? Were we human? Did everyone just become, like, um, husks that the bees were, like, um, growing in? And then they burst forth, and that's why heads are exploding and stuff. So they're fine, and they're chill, as long as I don't attack them. Great. There's nothing to interact with it seems. Hey wait, there's this crosswalk. Why are people using a crosswalk when there's no cars and people are literally walking in the street? I really firmly believe that this is the same building. I guess we'll know when one of these doors opens up and we can find out. I wonder if as soon as it goes to blue, we can nap. Because there doesn't seem to be much of a purpose yet for us wandering around. So, I'm going to go back to my room. Fall asleep a couple nights. And then we'll see. Uh, what opens up. Day was empty again. Time to embrace the night. Okay, cool. Another night has passed. Cool. So we're gonna just wait here, and it's about the 15. It's about 13 and a half minutes. So we'll cut until we get to somewhere. Okay, humans, we are back, and we are uh, at a. Uh, A place where the infestation seems to be really bad. Uh, there are bees in our room. There are bees in our room. The stairs are blocked, it turns out. This isn't good, so I waited like three minutes for bees to come busting in. Oh, I died. Okay, it is over. All right. Took three minutes to get there, and then we died. Okay. So, I also noticed that it said Life 1. Health 514. So now let's look and see what this says. Oh, L1. Oh, I guess Level 1. Okay. Let's go and see where we might be. So that place is open. This door should be open. There should be one down here that's open. Only for humanity's last hope. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh. Wow. This is ridiculous. That makes me angry. Makes me angry how bad I was at that. Can we eat this dude to regain health? No. Um, but he took a gun to his head and shot himself. It wasn't the bees, like we thought it was. It, when they're splattered like that, they look like pumpkins. What can I say? That's true. Um, this dude, it doesn't look like he did anything. But, like, the little spores of the bees are there. Um... I don't want to be here because, like, uh, see, as soon as we die, they it is over. Okay, it is over. What is over? I don't know. It seems trying to forget the nothingness. Whatever. Okay. So we know that in the next day, we will. Our room will be swarmed with bees, basically, is what we know. I mean, oh, I'm, just, yeah, I'm just gonna let him kill me because I was hitting like shift and it wasn't working, and so that mm, it is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know I'm going to be cutting at least uh, five minutes of this, so let's go. Let's go. Let's do it again. I'm trying to figure out this game. It's like. Like, every day the same dream. Oh gosh. Here we go already. Okay. They died. Every day the same dream. Uh. The world was already dystopian. And hopeless. And. Uh, you were finding little. You basically. Okay, so we can't go in there? How about that? I bet it's blocked off by those spore things. Um, basically, you were rebelling against the corporate and institutional standards by finding your freedom. So this, it seems to be, you turned into a spider and you're watching uh, the world be lost to bees. Oh, it's raining! Raining. What does it mean, guys? What does it mean? I don't know. Are you supposed to fight these? And when? What's the point of it all? These humans will be dead soon. It's like, really, what's the point? Trying to fight these. Yep, it's the same place. So, we're going in a circle. Let's try something. No, it didn't last through. Okay, that didn't do anything. Another night passed, so now we have to figure out how to survive these bees. stupid is that? I should just... You know what? I'm just gonna save and go for it, because it seems that we have to survive a certain number of nights. Okay, so let's just try killing them. And then wait, right, because we have to make it through this thing, because uh, we can't save at the moment. So let's just try killing them and then staying in our room. I think, if anything, I mean, maybe it's just a game about being a spider and shooting bees. But if it's supposed to be a little more than that, I think it's an interesting take on watching the world, like, crumble. Just, you know, watching it turn into a dystopia. Right. Like, there's literally nothing we can do to help the people outside. There's nothing we can do to help the people inside. We can just fight every day and survive. And really is 
the is that any like way of living? Is that a worthy way of living? Is the question? Because every time you die, it just like it is over, like a sigh of relief. So we killed most of them. The time it took for one day to pass. Got it. That's not fair! Oh, that's frustrating. I... And hello, humans. Crayon here. Sorry about the last three minutes of this video. Uh, apparently I muted the mic and didn't realize it until I went back and edited it just now. Uh, so, uh, good news, as you'll see over the next three minutes, is that I did complete the game and the final night happened. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll talk a little bit about what I think the game means uh, while you watch me kill all the bees and succeed finally in the quest of finishing the game. Uh, I think that this is a really effective design for this game uh, to give you an experience like most games put you into the world hour uh, after an apocalypse has happened and then you kind of dig up more and talk to the survivors to find out how the world came to an end. Or they uh, hint that an apocalypse is about to happen by taking you right up to that moment and then letting the thing that destroys the world happen, but then you don't see the fallout of it. So, the game, uh, I can't think of anything specifically, but you know, games like where you're trying not to detonate the bomb, the bomb detonates, oh no. Uh, and, but you never see the, like, how, what, how the world adapted to that. Uh, this game will put you right in the that special s time zone of the apocalypse has already started and then you see it uh, and you survive you know as it's happening but finally yeah, you die and there's just a sense of relief and I think that's a very uh, interesting take on the dystopian uh, time frame because you see a little bit of it before, a little bit of it before uh, the world starts to burn, and then you see a little bit after the world starts to burn, and just how, yeah, you're uh, you're moving around and you're trying to go ahead about life as normal, but you know, ultimately you're leaving, really, you don't have to worry about it. So that's it for this video, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, Crayon out. And don't forget Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and WordPress, you can see me on all those areas.